take on the role of a guardian, beings capable of wielding the light of the Traveler, destined to save humanity and bring back the peace and prosperity afforded by the Golden Age. Work hard to fight against the alien races, pushing against humanity, and find your place among the stars. Level up and become legend in the eyes of it all, for it is your purpose. It is your destiny. Released a major hype after record-setting beta numbers and pre-orders, Bungie and Activision's love child Destiny fuses MMO and first-person shooter elements similar to the Borderlands and Halo series, with some minor RPG elements thrown in. Currently, Destiny has already set records and released to much promise and hope, earning over $500 million in the first 24 hours and continuing to make sales. Question is, though, is the game worth the price tag? Was it really worth all that hype? Story itself isn't that memorable, with elements told through cutscenes provided before missions as you travel to the planet or at certain points within, usually after the mission ends, to help provide additional exposition. Unfortunately, that's really the extent of storytelling in the game. Random points of exposition meant to explain bits of the backstory and help expose elements of the progressing story. The problem is, there's no real emotional investment in anything going on, no characters to truly relate to, and no elements to invest within. You don't really feel the conflict of the world they are describing, and it doesn't seem like a major crisis you need to solve especially with there being so many Guardians out there fighting the same fight. I think the major reason it doesn't have a huge impact is you never see the humanity you are supposedly be saving. There isn't this visual or even physical aspect of what you are actually fighting for. With the world being set so far in the future, it isn't even relatable in a current time sense. Unfortunately, this type of bad storytelling quite kills the immersion, coupled with a pretty basic storyline, and by the end, you really aren't that worried about what gets resolved and what doesn't, even if you can figure it out. Gameplay-wise, Destiny is best described as a first-person shooter with MMO and RPG elements thrown in. The problem with this is that neither of these components is focused on to a decent degree. Instead, we get half-assed variations of each realm, with Bungie and Activision's roots in FPS development shining as their best element. Combat flows smoothly, and the controls are well-designed on both consoles, with fights being difficult yet fair, and interesting variants in enemies that require different tactics when fighting. As you progress through the game, you get new squads of enemies that are similar yet have their own distinct fashion of combat. Traveling throughout the open world environment and engaging in combat is easily handled and transitions perfectly, making it easy to figure out what you're supposed to be doing and what you're not. Where the gameplay tends to fall a little bit short, however, is in the RPG elements and customization. Typical of shooters on consoles, you carry two main weapons, in this case including a heavy special weapon, that can be swapped out at any point. The problem is twofold, the first being the fact that you have categories of weapons for each weapon set, with the primary weapon being assorted rifles ranging from full auto to burst to single shots, along with a hand cannon variant, which is a high-powered, non-scoped weaponry that pretty much mimics a 50 caliber magnum. The uncommon and rare ones can be upgraded as you level up, giving additional facets to the weapon, including small changes to scope and load, allowing for better zoom and target acquisition, better reloading, or others, along with a future upgrade that tends to improve overall damage profiles. These come at the cost of a resource known as Glimmer and other specialty resources that can only be obtained by breaking down unwanted items. The second set of weapons follows similar principles for upgrading, but is restricted to special weapons, which breaks down to shotguns, charge pulse rifles, and a sniper. The fact that these weapons are restricted to their specific categories is quite annoying, and a design decision that makes zero sense in the current generation of games. Instead of having the ability to go into combat with a full auto rifle and a single shot rifle, you're restricted to taking one of the rifles and one of the shotguns or snipers, which in some cases isn't always the loadout you wish you had. Now beyond the weapons, armor sets can be found as well, including uncommon and rare ones that run similar to the weapons, often providing upgrades like additional ammo or adding stats to fill one of three items. Strength, which promotes the cooldown of your melee, intellect, which promotes cooldown of your special, and discipline, which is a cooldown for your grenades. Unfortunately, all three of these stats can only be added to with armor sets instead of any sort of leveling up ability. Now all armor and even the weapons seem to work in a higher is better mentality, which is a little bit annoying for a game of this caliber. With combat having different approaches, such as a faster low armor unit or a high armor tank, armor sets should have had the customization give and take seen with most, meaning you can don a heavy armor but lose agility and vice versa. Instead, by taking a high agility or high recover class in the beginning, you can then add more and more armor towards the end and realistically be a super fast or easily recovering tank. Altogether, the lack of customization seen in even the most basic MMO or RPG games really sets us aside as a first person shooter that kind of had these elements tacked in which is really not how the game was hyped and not what I was hoping to see after much of the feedback from the beta pointed towards adding these exact elements. In the end, the gameplay is decent for those who enjoy this type of gameplay, even though it does get a bit repetitive after a while, which can make some of the end game content seem pointless and rather boring. It all feels like something you've already done before, and once you've done a single strike or raid mission, the proper multiplayer elements, the rest really do feel the exact same. With the main story completed, obtaining the loot from these only has a purpose in multiplayer, all single player elements seem to be based or centered around promotion of items in multiplayer, instead of keeping these systems independent. 
Now, in a great, well-balanced game, this can be a huge benefit, but in games where one side is missing or lacking on the mark, it makes the whole game suffer. Multiplayer in shooters seems to be evolving at times, trying to create more competitive gameplay, more balanced styles, and moving into objective-type play, away from the typically seen deathmatch styles. However, it seems Destiny didn't get the memo, nor has it really seen shooter multiplayer in the last decade, despite having created quite a bit of it. Destiny's multiplayer suffers from numerous issues, the most prominent ones being a lack of balance in gameplay, adequate customization or upgrades, custom matchmaking or lobbies, and ranked systems or even varied gameplay types, only a single one being objective-based. In the end, competitive multiplayer feels very tacked on as almost a necessity instead of something decent, trying to create a reason to stay in the game. With the endgame content being weaker than expected, the only real purpose to playing past the story is to get better loot for multiplayer, which creates a sort of annoyance in game when a level 5 gets paired against a level 20 that just destroys them. Beyond that, the lack of balance in the gameplay is evident across the board, with much of the abilities of the three classes focused around players versus environment killing becoming annoying and ridiculous in multiplayer. Melee based combat allows players to take out four enemies before anyone can react or launching an AoE special attack that can devastate an entire team. Honestly, after a few rounds, the multiplayer begins to feel as repetitive as the single player and not really worth the time. These issues are compounded by the gameplay mistakes made in terms of weapon variability and customization, meaning virtually everyone goes in with a full auto rifle and a shotgun or a semi auto rifle and a sniper, with each style taking up their respective positions. The only other real variance is going melee, which is just stupidly designed as players can jump ridiculous distances and the melee timing seems faster than anyone can pull up a weapon. Moving away from the competitive side, the cooperative multiplayer is quite a bit of fun, but fails as a one-size-fits-all style, with raids and strikes feeling the same across the different worlds. With these cooperatives only promoting better loot to fight enemies, the question of objective and purpose is lost. As you progress in the game, fighting higher level enemies is really quite easy in single player, including fighting enemies 3-4 to four levels higher than you so the need for legendary loot is essentially for breaking purposes or in multiplayer, neither of which are quite selling points for a high-end video game like this. Now, graphically, Destiny really shines, boasting advanced dynamic lighting, high-end models, and rendered graphics that are truly representative of current generation games. Model designs ranging from character models, both players and NPCs, to transportation items such as the main ships or scooter-like vehicles called Sparrows, utilized to travel on the planet's surface, are all given extreme detail and are beautifully crafted. The many different environments and locations you fight in provide unique landscapes that are as equally awe-inspiring as those seen during the days of Halo, which is quite expected from Bungie and a welcome sight. Unfortunately, this also makes it seem like Bungie and Activision spent too much time on the visual aspects and not enough time on feedback from the beta, which pointed towards fixing and improving many of the elements mentioned already. This is a disappointing approach as it seems to be that the beta was more for hyping the game and marketing purposes than as actual feedback. In the end, Destiny is a decently designed game that never really reaches for the stars, nor does it crash and burn. Bungie obviously took a safe approach in designing the game, and it pays off in making it seem adequate, but not the second coming that many thought it was going to be, nor does it seem to have the chops to hold up as a decent endgame, with many players reaching the level 20 mark that unlocks legendaries and other missions that can be used to unlock this equipment within the first 48 hours. At this point, the game combat has already seemed repetitive, that playing through it again is not really all that interesting, nor does it offer any real incentive to do so except for multiplayer, which as mentioned doesn't really hold any competitive water. Thus, the gameplay is straightforward and decent, providing a relative 14 to 18 hours of play on initial playthrough. However, despite the efforts with distinct classes and legendary equipment in the endgame, the replayability is crushed by the repetitive combat and lack of customization or really any distinct RPG elements all items that players were hoping to see based on feedback from the beta. What really sets Destiny aside is that, through 18 hours of gameplay, nothing ever stood out as that memorable, either in the good or the bad. Even the massive boss battles seemed familiar and repetitive, with the same combat tactics being applied but just taking a much longer time. There was no tactical play, no skillful use of the enemies. Instead, it falls back to the old days of more health, more armor, takes more bullets to kill mentality, which is not the expected result from either Bungie or Activision. The entire playthrough, I kept waiting for the game to live up to its hype, live up to becoming legend, and it just never does, mostly because it never tries to, never reaching for that point. Designing a safe game is fine, but with all the hype and marketing surrounding it, it seems Bungie and Activision should have spent more time actually designing the game and listening to feedback from the beta than on promoting it. Bottom line, Destiny is fun for those who enjoy this type of gameplay, the repetitive combat shooting similar to Borderlands or Mass Effect but unfortunately lacking in the features that make those games distinct. For those that are looking to ride the hype or get into this genre or game type, I'd honestly recommend waiting as it isn't the best introduction and you may find yourself bored or frustrated. Bungie and Activision unfortunately missed their chance to create the truly defining game that they wanted and that they promoted. 
Hopefully future DLC or patches can help fix some of the issues, but for me, Destiny is a game I'm happy to have played. This has been the Red Gamer of Urban Gaming Elite with our review on Destiny. If you haven't already, check out our website at urbangamingelite.com where you can find all sorts of previews, reviews, and other articles and unique content that looks at the wonderful world of gaming and the community surrounding it. Now, if you like the actual video review, please let us know in the comments whether you want to see more of these. We are considering adding these to some of our future reviews. We're also looking at different ways to do it. So let us know what you think and any suggestions you have. And with that, we'll see you guys next time.